Welcome to the Beth and Vinny Adventure Show. Come, Come on, on in. in. Let's go. Come on in. What is imagination? Imagination is when you use your brain to think of creative things. Now, I have this piece of paper here. What can I think about or imagine this paper could be? Hmm. I think I got it. I want to fold it into a triangle. Fold in. Making bigger triangles now. Making sure that it's nice and tight. Folding into a final triangle. Make sure that the lines are nice and straight. Folding it in. You know what I'm making? I just imagined the piece of paper into an airplane. Whoosh, look at that. And then I can make it fly. Whoosh, yes. Now, I think about imagination is that I can imagine myself running against the wind, running fast. Whoa, 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 look at how fast it's going. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Whew. You can imagine when you're standing, sitting, and things all around you can create things that don't even exist. Using this object, well, it's a leaf, as a fan, that feels good. Running against the, the wind made me really tired. I like this leaf. I still have some paper around here, so what else can I imagine out of these objects that I have? Well, I have a piece of cup, this glass here. Now, how can I use this glass with this paper? Hmm. I have an idea. I'm gonna crumble it up. I'm gonna make this into a little hoop. Oh, I just scored. And then I can get this other one, crumble it up again and I can make it, hopefully I can go two for two. One more time. Third one, third one, third's a chart. Okay, wish me luck, wish me luck. Well, I have a lot to practice. So, there were your three tips of how you can use your imagination to create things that don't even exist. Thank you, ciao. So today I have a game to show you using your imagination and play. You can play it with friends or family. You just want to make sure that you're being kind and you're being safe when you play this game and thinking of the other person. So I have something special that I'm going to show you. Vinny doesn't know what this is. And I'm going to have him close his eyes and use his senses. So we have five senses and use his imagination to guess what it is. So we'll see if he can figure it out. Come on in, Vinny. Hello. Hello, are you ready to play a game? I'm ready. Remember I told you about this game that um, you do have to close your eyes, but I know that you trust me and I wouldn't do something that would be hurtful or gross you out. I do trust you. Great, will you close your eyes please? Yes. And put out your hands. Okay, so I'm gonna play something in your hands now go ahead and use your senses, Vinny. So we have a sense of touch that you're using. We have a sense of smell that you could use. We have a sense of hearing. We have a sense of taste, but let's not do that one right now to be safe. Not something that you want to lick. So that's a little clue, a little clue there. Did I get all the senses? Touch, taste, smell, 
hearing and sight, which we are not looking, so we're taking away the sense of sight. So Vinny, what ideas are coming to mind? Some ideas that are coming to mind are, this object is pretty hard, and there is a little dip right here, and two dips. It feels really smooth too. What does it make you think of? It makes me think of the ocean. Oh, why the ocean? Because I think this might be a rock. Mm. And I picture that, I picture myself in the, in the ocean, well, in the, on the beach to be exact, and I'm picking up a rock and I feel this smooth, smooth edges that have been created by water. Wow. So. Nice guessing, open your eyes. Whoa! He was right. It's a very special rock that has been shaped. It even looks like a wave with this little curl in it. So using our sense of sight, it also reminds me of the beach and the ocean. Good job, Vinny. Thank you. It looks like a shell too. Yeah, okay. it does. Like a shell rock. It's Pretty a shell cool. Rock. Well, thanks for playing the game with me. Thank you. Time for plants with Beth. So plants are really amazing and you can really use your imagination when playing with plants. And also what's really amazing is plants are like medicine for us. So today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite medicines, chamomile. Chamomile is actually a flower. You might have seen it. You might have even drank some chamomile tea. This is what chamomile looks like once it has been picked and dried. And you can actually make chamomile, mmm, it smells so good, chamomile tea. Maybe you even have a special cup you like to use, like my panda cup. Awesome. So definitely ask your parents to help you make some chamomile tea after today's lesson. So what can chamomile do for us? Well, say that maybe you need some help. You just ate a yummy meal, but you're not really feeling that great. The food isn't quite going where it's supposed to be. Parents, are you following? This is a really great safe herb that you can use with children to help their digestion. So kids, that means to help you be able to take the food, put it in your stomach, have it go through your tummy, and then go to the bathroom. So we know that chamomile is good for us, good for our stomach, helps us digest, move through food through our body, which we need, right? We don't want the food to stay in our body so we feel stuck. Well, someone who would like to learn about chamomile and drink some tea is my friend Gretchen the pig. Hi, Gretchen. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? I'm okay. I, yeah, I heard that you need some help with your tummy, right? Yes, I do. Okay, well, we talked about um, chamomile and you really love the smell of chamomile, right? Mm, that smells so good. Gretchen has such a beautiful big nose so she can smell all the yummy things. I just love your nose, Gretchen. It's so beautiful. Um, so Gretchen, what I wanted to talk to you about was that inside of our body, we have what's called bacteria. We have good bacteria, which we'll just pretend it's this, these blue rocks. I know they're rocks, but remember using your imagination. So this is our good bacteria, Gretchen, right? So you have this inside of you. Deep Whoa! down. Yeah, yeah. And this good bacteria actually helps you, Gretchen, stay healthy and strong. Amazing, right? Amazing. So we've got the good bacteria, and then you have some bad bacteria, which we're pretending are these orange rocks. The bad bacteria, well, that can make you kind of sick. You know, Gretchen, sometimes when you're feeling like um, maybe a little sniffly, right? Or yeah, some people call it under the weather. That's a funny statement. Under the weather? Under the weather. Ah, think Whoa. about that one. So these are both in your body. Whoa. Good and bad bacteria live inside of you. And herbs like chamomile, wait for this, Gretchen. They, when you drink the tea, 
make you some chamomile tea. Yay! Dun, 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 right? Pretend. We added some hot water. Okay, here you go, Gretchen. Mmm, so now the chamomile went inside of Gretchen's body and it helps Gretchen's body become strong so that Gretchen's liver and Gretchen's gut, right, or inside that tummy is doing its job. And so it go, the chamomile helps the body go, hmm, I don't think this bacteria is very good. Well, let's get rid of that. I don't think this bacteria is very good. So it helps the body become less inflamed and helps the body get rid of the bad bacteria so that you can have the good bacteria living inside of you. Yay! Yeah, super amazing, right? So Gretchen, I will definitely send you home with some uh, more of this chamomile tea. Yay, if you got tea. this, this is my panda bear cup. Do you like pandas? I love pandas. Oh, that's great. Good, good. Do you have some pandas as friends? Yes, a few of them. Okay, great. Yeah, I figured maybe on your trips to China, you um, uh, made some friends with the pandas over there. Pandas! Gre yeah, Gretchen, she's a big traveler. She really loves to travel. Well, here, can you carry this cup? It's a little heavy, but I know you're strong. Got it? Here, I'll help you. I'll help you take that out the door. Bye, Gretchen! Well, that was herbs today. Um, herbs is just a, another word for a, a plant, a type of plant. And they help us. They're food, they're medicine, medicine for our body, medicine for our spirit, medicine for our mind, for all of who we are. We love the plants.